Let's create a funny tale about the upbringing of Minamoto no Yoshitsune, also known as Genji Yoshitsune. Genji Yoshitsune was born in 1159, Heiji first year, as the son of Minamoto no Yoshitomo, a renowned warrior of the late Heian period. His mother was a legendary beauty named Takiwa Gozen, who was said to be a concubine. She worked as a maidservant for Fujiwara no Noriko, the consort of Emperor Kano. Yoshitsune was the third son of Yoshitomo and the half-brother of the founder of the Kamakura Sogonate, Minamoto no Yoritomo. In his childhood, Yoshitsune was called, Yushiwakamaru, Yushiwaka, or, Kuro. Yoshitsune was born during the turbulent period of the, Heiji Rebellion. His father, Yoshitomo, led the Minamoto clan but suffered a crushing defeat against the Heike, led by Taira no Kiyomori. In this rebellion, Yoshitomo was defeated and killed in battle. Furthermore, Yoshitomo's eldest son, Minamoto no Yoshihira, was beheaded, and his second son, Minamoto no Tomonaga, also died in battle. The third son, Yoritomo, was exiled to Izu. Interestingly, young Yoshitsune was supposed to be killed as well. However, his mother, the stunningly beautiful Takiwa Gozen, caught the eye of Kiyomori and struck a secret agreement. In exchange for saving the lives of her three children, Imawaka, Atawaka, and Yushiwaka, Later Yoshitsune, Takiwa Gozen became Kiyomori's concubine. Additionally, she was given a condition that all three sons would be sent to a temple to become monks, ensuring they would not rise up against the Heike in the future. And thus, the era of the Heike's dominance began. According to the Gyuki, at the age of seven, Yoshitsune was entrusted to Kuramadera Temple in Kyoto. He was given the name, Shinao, which means the sun in Buddhism. It was expected that he would excel in his studies as a scholarly monk. Meanwhile, his brother Yoritomo was in distant exile. So they had very little interaction with each other. And so, the stage was set for the hilarious and adventurous tale of Genji Yoshitsune's upbringing. Let's spin a funny and entertaining tale about Minamoto no Yoshitsune and his determination to overthrow the Heike. After dedicating himself to scholarly pursuits at Kuramadera Temple until the age of 15, Yoshitsune discovered his true lineage and became furious with Kiyomori. According to the Gyuki, a compassionate monk, who happened to be Yoshitsune's father's sworn brother, sneaked into Yoshitsune's room and informed him that the Heike was their enemy. Upon tracing his family tree and learning the truth, Yoshitsune developed a burning ambition to bring down the Heike. Every night, he sneaked out of Kuramadera Temple and trained in martial arts at the hidden, Sojo Valley. Soon, Yoshitsune's peculiar behavior reached the ears of the Heike, and when he turned 16, he mysteriously disappeared from Mount Kurama. Leaving Mount Kurama behind, Yoshitsune roamed through various provinces, where he encountered a wealthy merchant named Kanori Kichiji, who traveled between Oshu, northern Japan, and Kyoto. Yoshitsune listened eagerly to tales of Mutsu Province, a vast land with a staggering 180,000 warriors. Intrigued. 
He and Kichiji set their sights on Oshu's capital, Hiraizumi. There, Yoshitsune had a fateful encounter with the third head of the Oshu Fujiwara clan, Fujiwara no Hidehira. A prominent figure who brought the clan to its peak. Yoshitsune found refuge under Hidehira's protection and honed his martial arts skills under his guidance. Why did Hidehira shelter Yoshitsune? Who was an enemy of the Heike? It was because Yoshitsune was a significant figure for both his older brother, Yoritomo, and the Heike. By having Yoshitsune under his control, the Fujiwara clan believed they could gain an advantage over Oshu. Hence, they warmly welcomed Yoshitsune's stay. Amidst these events, in the year 1180, Jisho fourth year. The son of Emperor Go Shirakawa, Prince Mochihito, issued a declaration to overthrow the Heike. Seizing this opportunity amidst the chaos, Yoritomo, the leader of the Setsu Minamoto clan, raised an army. Upon hearing of his brother's rebellion, Yoshitsune wasted no time and joined the campaign. Farewelling Yoshitsune with a heavy heart. Hidehira assigned capable warriors to accompany him and sent him off to the Yellow Riverbank, Kisagawa. At the age of 22, Yoshitsune finally had a heartwarming reunion with his older brother. Yoritomo, and embarked on a thrilling journey to bring about the downfall of their arch enemies, the Heike. Thus, the stage was set for a hilarious and epic tale of Minamoto no Yoshitsune's quest for vengeance and the ultimate defeat of the Heike. Let's spin a funny and entertaining tale about Minamoto no Yoshitsune and his determination to overthrow the Heike. After dedicating himself to scholarly pursuits at Kuramadera Temple until the age of 15, Yoshitsune discovered his true lineage and became furious with Kiyomori. According to the Gyuki, a compassionate monk, who happened to be Yoshitsune's father's sworn brother, sneaked into Yoshitsune's room and informed him that the Heike was their enemy. Upon tracing his family tree and learning the truth, Yoshitsune developed a burning ambition to bring down the Heike. Every night, he sneaked out of Kuramadera Temple and trained in martial arts at the hidden, Sojo Valley. Soon, Yoshitsune's peculiar behavior reached the ears of the Heike, and when he turned 16, he mysteriously disappeared from Mount Kurama. Leaving Mount Kurama behind, Yoshitsune roamed through various provinces, where he encountered a wealthy merchant named Kanori Kichiji, who traveled between Oshu, northern Japan, and Kyoto. Yoshitsune listened eagerly to tales of Mutsu Province, a vast land with a staggering 180,000 warriors. Intrigued, he and Kichiji set their sights on Oshu's capital, Hiraizumi. There, Yoshitsune had a fateful encounter with the third head of the Oshu Fujiwara clan, Fujiwara no Hidehira a prominent figure who brought the clan to its peak. Yoshitsune found refuge under Hidehira's protection and honed his martial arts skills under his guidance. Why did Hidehira shelter Yoshitsune? Who was an enemy of the Heike? It was because Yoshitsune was a significant figure for both his older brother, Yoritomo, and the Heike. By having Yoshitsune under his control, the Fujiwara clan believed they could gain an advantage over Oshu. 
Hence, they warmly welcomed Yoshitsune's stay. Amidst these events, in the year 1180, Jisho fourth year, the son of Emperor Go Shirakawa, Prince Mochihito, issued a declaration to overthrow the Heike. Seizing this opportunity amidst the chaos, Yoritomo, the leader of the Setsu Minamoto clan, raised an army. Upon hearing of his brother's rebellion, Yoshitsune wasted no time and joined the campaign. Farewelling Yoshitsune with a heavy heart, Hidehira assigned capable warriors to accompany him and sent him off to the Yellow Riverbank, Kisagawa. At the age of 22, Yoshitsune finally had a heartwarming reunion with his older brother, Yoritomo, and embarked on a thrilling journey to bring about the downfall of their arch enemies, the Heike. Thus, the stage was set for a hilarious and epic tale of Minamoto no Yoshitsune's quest for vengeance and the ultimate defeat of the Heike. Let's bring Minamoto no Yoshitsune's remarkable tactics to life with a humorous twist. There are several episodes that illustrate Yoshitsune's overwhelming strength. First, let's talk about his encounter with the unruly and incredibly strong Musashibo Benkei. Benkei was determined to seize 1,000 swords, and was aiming for the last one which happened to be the 1,000th. On Gojo Bridge in Kyoto. Just then, 18-year-old Yoshitsune, known as Yushiwakamaru, strolled by, playing a flute. Benkei attempted to attack him, but to everyone's amazement, Yoshitsune skillfully turned the tables and defeated him. Benkei surrendered and became one of Yoshitsune's followers, showcasing Yoshitsune's unparalleled swordsmanship skills. Moreover, Yoshitsune had mastered the secrets of military strategy by reading the Chinese military book called, Rikuto Sanraiku, which was said to contain the essence of warfare. He was hailed as a genius tactician. For instance, in the Battle of Ikanatani, Yoshitsune launched a surprise attack by swiftly descending a cliff and ambushing the Heike's main camp. Later, he employed an outlandish tactic known as the Hiyodori Go no Sakauchi, the Sparrow's Leap, that threw the Heike into chaos. Simultaneously, he set fire to the Taira camp forcing them into a retreat. With just a small cavalry force, Yoshitsune achieved a tremendous victory. During the Battle of Yashima in the Seto Inland Sea, Yoritomo initially planned to surround the Heike with a large army. However, due to food shortages, the plan was abandoned. Entrusted with a significant role, Yoshitsune disregarded his own life and braved a violent storm, using a ship to cover a journey that would usually take three days in just a few hours. Anticipating Yoshitsune's fleet, the Heike fortified their position. But to their surprise, Yoshitsune maneuvered behind them and launched a surprise attack. After arriving at the enemy's main camp, Yoshitsune set fire to civilian houses, giving the illusion of a massive army. This caused chaos among the Taira forces. By the time they realized they were being attacked by a small group, their camp had been razed to the ground. Yoshitsune emerged victorious once again. In the climactic Battle of Dan no Ura, Yoshitsune organized a naval force and engaged in a one-on-one -on -one duel with the Heike. Though momentarily pushed to the brink, 
Yoshitsune instructed his archers to target the helmsmen operating the Tyra ships. The arrows found their mark, causing the Tyra ships to lose control, sink, and turning the tide of battle in Yoshitsune's favor. He achieved a stunning victory, finally bringing about the downfall of the Heike. And thus, through hilarious and extraordinary tactics, Minamoto no Yoshitsune triumphed over the Heike, proving his unrivaled strength and strategic brilliance. Let's spin a humorous tale about Minamoto no Yoshitsune and his tumultuous relationship with his older brother, Yoritomo. Minamoto no Yoshitsune was truly unbeatable. With his overwhelming strength, he quickly became famous. However, he started to face Yoritomo's distrust, and here are the four main reasons why. 1. He arrogantly declared, My brother's followers are my followers. Yoritomo desired to become the leader of the Minamoto clan and aimed for the unification of the clan alongside the downfall of the Heike. He even went as far as threatening to kill any Minamoto member who didn't pledge loyalty to him. On the other hand, Yoshitsune, despite being a half-brother, wanted to be regarded as an equal and share the same status. However, Yoritomo, being the legitimate child of their father's formal wife and the head of the Minamoto clan, didn't appreciate familiarity among siblings. He grew increasingly dissatisfied with Yoshitsune's inability to show deference to his authority. 2. Yoshitsune's victories were mostly achieved through surprise attacks. Whether it was the Battle of Misuzagoka, where he set the entire mountainside ablaze before launching a surprise attack, or the Battle of Ikanatani, where he ambushed the enemy from sheer cliffs, Yoshitsune's tactics often relied on surprise attacks. Many of these strategies were executed without consulting Yoritomo, and it became impossible for Yoritomo to overlook Yoshitsune hogging all the credit. 3. He failed to recover one of the three sacred treasures, the sword. The three sacred treasures consisted of the Yata no Kagami, a divine mirror, the Yasakani no Magatama, a sacred jewel, and the Kusanagi no Surugi, a legendary sword. These treasures held immense significance as symbols of imperial authority. However, during the final battle at Dan no Ura, when Yoshitsune cornered the Heike, the Kusanagi sword disappeared along with Emperor Antoku, sinking to the depths of the sea. Despite annihilating the Heike, Yoshitsune couldn't retrieve all the treasures and return them to the imperial court. 4. He received honorary titles and aristocratic status from Emperor Go Shirakawa without permission. To maintain order and prevent chaos in the Minamoto clan, Yoritomo strictly prohibited any Minamoto member from accepting official positions in the imperial court without his consent. However, disregarding this rule, Yoshitsune disobeyed and received honorary titles from Emperor Go Shirakawa. Furthermore, Yoritomo's retainer, Kajiwara Kagedoki, instigated Yoritomo by whispering, Yoshitsune is the final enemy. As a result, Yoshitsune was deemed a traitor by Yoritomo. And thus, in this humorous account, we witness the clash between Minamoto no Yoshitsune and his older brother Yoritomo, adding a touch of comedic drama to their complex relationship. Let's craft a humorous tale about the fate of Minamoto no Yoshitsune, incorporating the events leading to his seppuku, ritual suicide. When it comes to Yoshitsune's legendary Japanese sword, it's called, Usumidori, pale green, originally known as, Hizamaru. This famous Minamoto clan blade belonged to Yoshitsune's father. Yoshitomo, until it passed through various family members, including Genyoshi, Tankai, and Tanso, 
before finally being presented to Yoshitsune himself. He wielded this exceptional sword in the Battle of Dan no Ura, where it showcased its prowess. However, Fearing that possessing such a renowned Minamoto blade would place him on equal footing with his brother, the supreme commander of the Minamoto clan. Yoshitsune decided to dedicate the Usumidori to the Hakone shrine as an offering. Unfortunately, his sincere gesture didn't sway Yoritomo's perception. Branded as a traitor by Yoritomo. Yoshitsune wandered from place to place until he found refuge under the care of Fujiwara Hidehira in Mutsu, a region far from Kyoto and now known as Iwate Prefecture. Matsu's Hiraizumi, situated far away from the turmoil of Kyoto, became a place deeply associated with Yoshitsune. During that time, the Fujiwara clan of Hiraizumi boasted immense wealth and military power. Surpassing even the Heike, which had close ties with the imperial court. It was an ideal place for Yoshitsune to observe the situation in Kyoto while ensuring his own safety. However, Hidehira who had been supportive of Yoshitsune, fell ill. On his deathbed, he called his sons and urged them to become loyal to Yoshitsune and confront Yoritomo. He emphasized that even if Yoritomo were to grant them lands, they wouldn't be able to rule as effectively. Only Yoshitsune should be protected at all costs. Ironically, Hidehira's wish for Yoshitsune to become the lord and be protected was shattered by his son, Yasuhira. Going against his father's wishes, Yasuhira seized the opportunity Yoritomo presented by exploiting the discord within the Fujiwara clan. He sent an army of 30,000 troops to pursue Yoshitsune. Cornered. Yoshitsune entered the nostalgic Jibutsudo Hall in Hiraizumi, stabbed his wife and daughter, and then performed seppuku, meeting his tragic end at the age of 30. Hiraizumi. The place where Yoshitsune accumulated his pride as a Minamoto and sought refuge as a warrior, became a second home for him. Even today, remnants of Yoshitsune's life remain. Such as the Kanjikido Hall, where the remains of Hidehira and others are enshrined, and the Benkeidu Hall, which houses wooden statues of Yoshitsune and his loyal retainer, Benkei. Now, where did Yoshitsune go wrong on his path? It is said that his arrogant attitude of declaring, my brother's followers or my followers, played a role. But his failure to capture the hearts of his own retainers, which consequently prevented him from capturing his brother's heart, might have been the main cause. After Yoshitsune's death, sympathizing with him and showing favoritism came to be known as, Hogan Bias. It's a pity that he couldn't grasp people's hearts and gain their trust while he was alive. Perhaps it was the fate of the ninth son, fated to face adversity throughout his life. Let's create a funny and entertaining tale about the four heavenly kings of Yoshitsune, the loyal vassals who served him with unwavering loyalty. The four heavenly kings of Yoshitsune refer to his close aides who dedicated themselves to his cause. According to the Tale of the Rise and Fall of the Minamoto and Taira, a chronicle that emerged during the Kamakura period, the four heavenly kings consisted of Sato Suganobu who bravely sacrificed himself as Yoshitsune's shield during the Battle of Yashima, 
Tsuganobu's brother to Danoba, who acted as Yoshitsune's decoy and ended up committing seppuku. And the Kamada brothers, Morimasa and Mitsumasa. These valiant warriors fought alongside Yoshitsune, sacrificing their own lives to protect him. However, in various tales and scrolls, there are debates about who should be included in the four heavenly kings. It's a bit of a tricky problem to narrow down the loyal retainers to just four individuals. For instance, we can't forget Minamoto no Yoshimori, also known as Aizaburo Yoshimori. He appears in stories like The Tale of Yoshitsune, and is renowned for beheading Yoshitsune's rival, Kiso Yoshinaka, and achieving numerous victories in the Genpei War. And if we're talking about Yoshitsune's loyal retainers, we can't leave out Benkei. Benkei, a legendary figure appears in works like The Tale of Yoshitsune, and various medieval tales. He served Yoshitsune even after his downfall, and it's said that he sacrificed himself to protect Yoshitsune, taking countless arrows before meeting his end. Thus, when it comes to the four heavenly kings of Yoshitsune, there are legendary aspects to consider. But the fact that there were retainers who remained loyal to Yoshitsune, fought alongside him until the end, and even sacrificed their lives for him demonstrates the deep trust and expectations placed upon Yoshitsune. Let's create a funny and entertaining tale about the women associated with Yoshitsune. Yoshitsune who was cornered by his older brother Yoritomo, tragically ended his life along with his wife and children. His wife, who is believed to be either Kawago Taro Shigiori's daughter, or Kiyohime, is shrouded in mystery. However, it's uncertain whether Kiyohime and the daughter of Koga Dinagon are the same person or not. While neither of these women left as much historical evidence as Yoshitsune, Kiyohime's father, Kawago Taro Shigiori, was a loyal follower of Yoritomo. Their marriage was a political alliance designed for Yoritomo to keep a close eye on Yoshitsune. Unfortunately, it is believed that both Yoshitsune and his wife were ultimately put to death by Yoritomo. Kiyohime's father also met a tragic end, driven to death by Yoritomo's actions. Thus, she had a sorrowful and tragic life. Another well-known woman associated with Yoshitsune is Shizuka Gozen. Shizuka was a Shirabyoshi. A dancer who also engaged in entertainment activities similar to a courtesan. She met Yoshitsune after the Battle of Dan no Ura when he arrived in the capital. When Yoritomo sent assassins to uncover their secrets, she helped save Yoshitsune from a dire situation. They escaped together to Yoshino. But they had to part ways when faced with a mountain that was off limits to women. Furthermore, Shizuka became pregnant with Yoshitsune's child, giving birth to a baby boy. However, under Yoritomo's orders, the child was drowned at Uigahama Beach, severing the bond between Yoshitsune and Shizuka. This tale of the women connected to Yoshitsune is filled with drama, tragedy, and unexpected twists. While their roles may not be as prominent as Yoshitsune's, their stories add depth and intrigue to the legend of this legendary samurai.